I'm going to be working on the bench. So I'm going to be making a ton of cob, kind of fitting it around the bench, getting everything secure. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that and I can't wait to start. This is just more thermal mass. So it'll add more structural integrity. It'll provide temperature benefits in both the winter and the summer. And ventilation. I guess this will be our first piece of furniture inside the dome. <laughs> okay, let's show them the truth about the Green Dream Project. Hey everyone, you're watching the Green Dream Project and it is a beautiful day and I am loving it. Oh, we just came out of some late freezes and it is warming up. Now, if you caught our last video, you know that I finished up the ducting here leading from the rocket mass heater to outside of the dome. I'm gonna put some more cob around here. I'm gonna just try and fill out this section a little bit and support this insulated pipe a little bit more. And then there is a rain cover that has to go on there. Keep some of that rain out. There is also a cover that goes on here. Do a magic trick. Gotta love the mix of the potato salad mixing container and the and the yogurt uh, planters. Oh, and the Arizona tea water jug. All right, so now that I got that piping kind of situated out there, I feel like it's a little bit more reinforced out there. I'm gonna be working on the bench. So I'm gonna be making a ton of cob, kind of fitting it around the bench, getting everything secure. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that and I can't wait to start. I guess this will be our first piece of furniture inside the dome. <laughs> Well, I was thinking at first that I might end up just dumping mixes of cob in here, but I, I think starting out, I might have to uh, kind of be a little bit more careful, make sure this cob gets underneath the ducting and just make sure it's nice and secure. So it might be a little bit of dumping and then there might be a little bit of just kind of maneuvering some of that cob around. Well, that's one cob mix. As you can see, it's gonna take a lot more. <laughs> All right, looks like you've been busy out here. What you got going on? I've been taking some rocks and laying them out, kind of seeing where the walls for the rest of the house might go. So just trying to do some planning, I guess. I want to lay it out so that I could get a better idea of the space, you know, kind of actually physically move through there. All right, so as many of you know already, we have a root cellar that collapsed, so it's like half a root cellar. And that's gonna be uh, part of our house. 
but uh, there's also going to be an addition on the front and the back so that's kind of what you're looking at right now right mm -hmm. originally we were going to do the same thing that we did with the earth bag dome have an underground part which would have been the root cellar and then a dome over that but after the root cellar collapsed we turned it into an opportunity to maybe try something different give us a little tour that's what what uh what do we got going on here so, so far I was thinking uh, over here where we have a downspout coming off the eaves, probably going to have a water tank to catch the water. So I kind of have a circle here marked out approximately where we might put that. And I thought this might be a good area for a laundry room. Have a water source right here. And then the gray water from the laundry can go right out into a basin for watering plants. We'll probably have some walls coming off of the earth bag dome. Oh, I just put a little area there that might be a like a closet for coats and shoes and things like that. And then another wall going out this way. That's all I got so far, but that's the rest of the house is going to wrap around the root cellar basically. Really exciting to hear about your uh, to hear about the plans for the outside. Yeah, again, we were thinking of doing a whole another dome on top of that root cellar, but like, I mean, we're still not even done with this dome, and uh, so I was just thinking like a whole other dome taking what another few years, not good. And I finally convinced her that maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, I'm I'm glad we did this dome. It's we're already seeing like how comfortable it, it is in here with the temperature regulation and stuff. But I think this area is more important for that. Having this dome for like a living space and a sleeping space is phenomenal. The temperatures yesterday when it got to, uh, you know, about 90 degrees, it was like mid sixties in here. Yeah. Now, eventually as the summer warms up, it, the temperature is gonna warm up in here and it's going to kind of stay a little higher. Temperatures kind of regulate, but it still stays pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we might get like, oh, you got this uh, bent, you got this rocket mass heater done just in time for the summer. And that's right. But not only will this be ready for when the temperatures cool down again and the winter rolls around, this will be all finished, but this will actually provide a lot of benefits here in the summertime. So because we live in an earthen structure, this is just more thermal mass to help regulate the temperatures in here. Plus it'll offer another air exchange just to kind of help circulate that air. With a rocket mass heater, especially in a build like this, it can actually help keep things cooler in the summertime. I think even in that book I was reading of having a temperature change of 10 degrees cooler with a rocket mass heater in there. Just with that, huh? Just with the rocket mass heater. So it'll be interesting to see how this performs inside an earthen house. Yeah, for sure. So it'll add more structural integrity to the uh, building. It'll provide temperature benefits in both the winter and the summer. And ventilation. And it'll be our first piece of furniture. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we'll actually have a place to, uh, well, we got some chairs in here, but it'll be, this will be a really nice addition. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh-oh, what you got there? Crew. Oh, he likes it. We're going to do an Easter basket hunt uh -oh. for the dogs. We don't have any kids ourselves, so we're doing Easter for the dogs. <laughs> Are you going to make an Easter basket for me? Mm -hmm. How dog with dog chips? With candy? No, with dog chips. <laughs> <laughs> so we got oh, some, some toys, a bone... And some treats. He doesn't even know what's going on, but he likes it. Careful, she's watching you. Are you ready? Are you ready for the hunt? Yubi is ready for this hunt.
someone's a happy puppy. We had a slightly smaller trail for crew. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> up here before sunrise. I've already been out. I walked crew, let Yuvi out. She's running around here somewhere. And I thought this would be perfect just to get out and get the mixes ready to go. I just have a little bit more to finish off this first lift on the bench. Very exciting. Look at that. Mix number one, ready to go for the day. I'm just going to make a couple more. I'll be ready to start applying. Is that perfectly level? No, it is not. Not even level. <laughs> That's okay, nothing's level around here. You're really sculpting this, eh? Well... Is this how you're going to do the whole inside of the dome? Yes. The inside of the outside <laughs> of the dome with the tiny, tiny little palette knife. Well, around here I kind of have to because of the, the box lid. Oh, are you done? show them the truth about the Green Dream Project. <gasps> this house is made of bags! And dirt. Now, I have got about a little over a foot on this cob. We've got a, probably about 14 inches of cob over here. I probably got about another foot to go to kind of complete the bench, complete the bench. Basically, I just want to get the basic bench in here. I'm gonna leave like an inch or so along the front, an inch or so from the top and let Jess do her thing and really kind of beatify it. That's where she'll come in and kind of give it her special touch, if you don't mind. I would love to. <laughs> so, um, in fact, you probably demand it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really excited to kind of get the uh, rest of this bench done. I think we'll probably, I think that'll probably be in the next phase is just finish that basic, the basic bench and uh, covering up just some of the walls behind here. As long as I'm messing with the cob, I'll get some of that bags covered. So uh, this rocket mass heater is pretty close to being done and I am excited. Stay tuned as we finish. I think we'll be finishing up this rocket mass heater build on the next video. Uh, very exciting. Yay, <laughs> then on top. 
bigger, better projects. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for Rocket Mass Heaters, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.